sixth graders, I'm Mr. English, principal of Cicely L. Tyson Community School of Performing and Fine Arts. I wanna personally welcome you all to the 2021 school year. You have been selected to carry on the legacy over the next three years of great performing and fine artists in this school building. Every day when you come into school, we'll say our motto, we aim high, we soar. Why don't you say it with me? We aim high, we soar high. I want you to know we are very excited to have you here at Cicely L. Tyson and look forward to your growth over the next three years. Welcome. Welcome to your new school, Cicely L. Tyson Middle School. This will be your home for the next three years. My name is Shakur Taylor and I'm currently enrolled in the eighth grade and I major in advanced theater. You see this place behind me? This is your entrance that you will be coming in for the next three years to enter this school. Once you come in, your bags will be handled and checked by certain security guards and your phone will be put in the yonder pouch. And furthermore, let's see it. Stay tuned to this video. Make sure to learn the layout to your school. And if you don't know it or you need help, please ask them. Don't end up like me. The room we are in right now that's presented to you is your gymnasium. You will be attending this first period. Please, when you attend, don't be late. Make sure you dress appropriately and get that good grade to boost your GPA. Thank you. Hey. Make sure you learn and rememberize your schedule. Make sure you rememberize and learn your schedule. You will need it to go from class to class throughout the day of sixth grade. Right now, we are in the cafeteria. This is where you will be able to eat and socialize with your friends. They serve lunch and snacks here. Some of the snacks are maybe a dollar, a dollar Snapple, or maybe a dollar under for some Rice Krispies. And some are over in case you wanna get more snacks. They have lunch specials on certain days, and some lunch specials that you should try are the ribs and pizza they're to die for. Hey, this is the 800 seat theater. This deals with everything from rehearsals, recitals, acting, plays, and anything dealing with stage, people, and cameras. But enough about that. Let's get to tip number two. Please, I cannot stress this enough, get a reminder, a, a planner. A planner will be used as a reminder to help with anything dealing with something that you need to remember, like homework or classes. Oh, this is my chance. Carly, Savannah's not in the market for your kids. Hey, make sure always sit in front of your class, stay engaged, and be aware. Right now, we're in the middle school choir room, teach or directed by teacher Ms. Gould. They have most recently performed in the Aretha, Aretha Franklin Black History Month event. And let me tell you, they did phenomenal. Tip number four, ask questions. Make sure to get the answer from the question and learn from it. This will help you gain knowledge and will always be beneficial for you in the future. And talk to your classmates. You never know when Help, having a helping hand can help anyone. Right now, we are in the band and violin section. They they perform, they, re, they have recitals on average twice a year, and always make sure to rock. Oh, hey, tip number five. Make sure you manage your time efficiently from after school once it needs like TV or video game versus things you need to get done like homework and projects. Right now, we are sitting in the glorious theater room. We perform twice a year on average and some of us get nominated for special awards like last year, the Foxy Awards. We get funded by a theater program that lets us go see Broadway shows like last year, the classic Lion King. And let me tell you, this is the best major. Tip number six, don't let a bad day ruin your semester or cycle. Say you get into an altercation with a classmate or a bad grade. Use it as a learning experience to achieve your end goal of graduating the sixth grade. As you can see right now, we are in Ms. Cartier's heart room. 
This is where all the magic happens and they perform phenomenal plays like Love is in the Air. Their teacher, Miss Cartier, is an award-winning harpist. And just to let you know, if you are if you are in this major, you are in great hands. Tip number seven. This tip is very important and please listen to me. Don't post everything on social media. Have discretion and keep private conversations private. You never know when slipping up or doing something bad will come back to bite you from the future. Right now, we are in the Sweets dancing class where they dance and perform twice a year on average. When they perform, they always make sure to rock the audience and leave a lasting impression. Tip number eight, have goals. Whether it's making the play or playing for a football team like the East Orange Junior Jaguars or getting good grades, just have a, a mindset and an end goal. Right now, we are in Ms. Wolf's animation class where breathtaking artwork is presented before us. This artwork is really phenomenal. And to shout out their Instagram and YouTube, they put it up right here at Tyson underscore animation and on YouTube, Tyson with a capital T, animation with a capital A. And follow us to stay updated. Tip number nine. nine. Don't have your parents going all over the place, spending all this money on artwork supplies and school supplies. Find your schedule and make sure you know the amount of supplies you need for your sixth grade year. Right now, we're in Mr. Coronado's middle school artwork class, which presented to us is some fascinating artwork that will probably take a lot of precision and skill. So let me try. This is the hallway sixth graders will be attending. The class coming up to our right right now is Mr. Harris your math teacher. The class right here on this right is Dr. Higgins, your next math teacher, or your second math teacher if you're in the Army class. This class right here is your science teacher, Ms. Mack. This class to our left is your ELA teacher, Ms. Hanel. And this class to our left is your other ELA teacher if you're in honors, Ms. Washington. And to our right, your social studies teacher, Ms. Powell. Make sure, please don't run up the stairways. When you're going down to lunch, use this stairway. When you're going up, use that stairway all the way down there. And make mature decisions. If I would go back to myself talking, I would be like, don't make immature decisions. And take this time and then use it as an advantage while you have it because middle school goes by so fast. And also, please don't share locker combinations. Don't. I'm here to introduce a little bit more of the sixth grade classes. This class right here is Miss Parks Brown class. And the class coming up to our left is Miss Drake's class. One, one of the hardest things to adjust to in middle school is once and needs. Usually in elementary school, everybody will be holding your hand and helping you do everything. In middle school, you're not entirely on your own, but you have to make decisions more mature, like you have to balance your wants and needs to benefit your future. Another sixth grade class to our left is Miss Thompson's class, classroom 117. One of the uh, most things that you have to do in middle school to get, to get further or to advance yourself is always apply yourself. At first, it's going to be hard because it's going to be everything new to you. But once you conquer that fear and get over it and know that I got this and I got the determination, perseverance, you'll, you'll start to get used to things and it will come normal. The next class coming up to our left is Mr. Carter's class. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. 
Once again, my name is Shakur Taylor. I am in the eighth grade and I am attending Advanced Theater. I look forward to seeing some new faces and have a successful sixth grade year. Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Zaheer and I am your school disciplinarian. I'm here to welcome you all to the Tyson family and to discuss of the expectation of a Tyson student. The first rule is to not touch anyone. Please refrain from play fighting or solving your problems physically. If you have an issue with someone, learn to use your words, and if you need to, contact an adult. The second rule is refrain from talking about anyone. If you don't have anything nice to say about someone, then it's best that you don't say anything at all. This is how rumors start, and this causes great problems for you and other students in the building. And the last rule is, refrain from taking anything that is not yours. It is impossible to find something that you did not lose. If you see someone's property in the school on the floor or left in the classroom, you have two options. You can either leave it there or you can turn it into an adult to notify them that someone left it behind. I'm sure that if you follow these three simple rules, your time at Tyson will be a memorable one. Lastly, I would like to discuss our remote learning etiquette. Please remember that there is an appropriate attire and appropriate behavior that must be required when remote learning. You are not the only person who is on the computer at that time and how you present yourself and how you behave and communicate is very important. Please be sure to be dressed appropriately and be sure to use appropriate language during remote learning time. I'm Mrs. Zaire, and hopefully these rules will help you have a great and welcoming experience at Cicely Tyson. I look forward to meeting you all in the fall. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Cicely L. Tyson Community School of Performing and Fine Arts. I am so excited that you are going to be coming to school here. My name is Mrs. Cartier and I am the harp teacher. I can't wait to meet my new harp students and teach you how to play this beautiful instrument. Hey, good afternoon, Cicely L. Tyson, sixth graders. I know you guys are happy to finally be in middle school. My name is Mr. Pierre. I am one of the two middle school counselors here at Cicely L. Tyson. I work alongside with Ms. Williams. Uh, we both serve sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students. Uh, I will be most of you guys uh, school counselor for this year, for the 2020-2021 school year. I look forward to seeing you guys in September and working with each and every one of you to achieve all your academic, personal, social goals. Um, you know, I'm here to support. I want to make sure that you guys are fully prepared for middle school. And not only that, I kind of guys, I kind of want you guys to start thinking about high school as well, because it goes by very quick. Um, so again, welcome. I look forward to working with you, um, Mr. Pierre, and continue to enjoy your summer. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new year here at Cicely Tyson School of Performing and Fine Arts. I'm Mr. Paduano, and I'll be your PA teacher. I teach piano here at the school, and I'm super excited to be your performing arts teacher. Uh, my goal for you this year is that you all embrace your major, be extremely successful in all that you do, work hard, and most importantly, have fun in doing all of that. So having said that, I wish you all a blessed summer, and I look forward to seeing each of you in the fall. Take care. Hello, sixth graders. My name is Ms. Poole, and I am the assistant principal here at Cicely L. Tyson Middle High School, and I would like to welcome you to our Tyson family. I remember when I was in the sixth grade, I was super nervous because I didn't know if I was going to meet anyone and that this was going to be a big school and it was going to be really crazy. But let me tell you, I met lots of cool friends, great teachers who I'm still in touch with today, and I received a great education. And I know personally that the staff here, the administrators here at Tyson will afford the same to you. So welcome, be yourself, be courageous, and have fun. 
Hello, sixth grade Eagles. My name is Wanda Davis, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Cicely Tyson Middle High School. I would like to welcome you to the Eagle family. If you are participating in this virtual orientation, you are already off to a great start. Hopefully, you will take the time to soak up all the valuable information that is being provided to you today, as it will assist you with your transition from elementary to middle school. Let's go, Eagles. We're off to a great start. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cicely Tyson Physical Education, where our goal is to have fun while learning how to be physically fit and learning how to live a healthy lifestyle moving forward. Hope to see you guys soon. Hello, my future sixth graders. My name is Miss Ray Dudley, and I welcome you to the theater department at Cicely Tyson Middle High. I am so excited to work with you and develop new programming, whether we're face-to-face -face or doing remote learning. I am so excited to see all your gifts that you have to share. I look forward to our new year of 2021. Hi Tyson students, my name is Miss Sweet and I'm the sixth grade dance teacher. We are so excited for you to start the new year with us. When I'm not dancing, I love to do all things in the water, like kayaking. See you in September. Sixth grade, grade six. Hey there, my name is Miss Thompson. Most students call me Miss T. And guess what? I'm so excited that you guys are coming here to Cicely Tyson. And more importantly, I'm so glad that you guys are going to be joining us for the 2021 school year. Guess what? It may start off a little different, but guess what? We're going to have a fantastic year. You guys are going to do exceptionally well, and we're all going to work together. So guess what? Welcome to CTS. Welcome to 2020-21 school year. And I can't wait to meet you and give you all some distance hugs and some distance kisses and all that good kind of stuff. So I will see you soon. School year 2021, Miss T. Hello, my name is Mr. Carter, and welcome to Sissy Tyson Middle High School, and have a wonderful year. Hi, scholars. Welcome to Tyson Middle High School. I am ecstatic to be your teacher. My name is Miss Mack, and I am a sixth grade science teacher. Have you ever heard of the name Christine Darden? Well, Dr. Darden was a skilled mathematician and aeronautical engineer. Currently, Dr. Darden encourages youngsters like yourselves to explore their curiosity. This year, we will explore other scientists such as Dr. Darden, um, and we will explore their contributions to society. We cannot wait to see you in September. Well, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Haygood. I am one of the sixth grade mathematics teachers here at Tyson Little High. Wanted to stop in and say hello and welcome you all here to the family at Tyson. I trust that you all are having a great summer. Look forward to working with you and so I will see you in the very near future. Take care, continue to enjoy your summer. See you soon. Welcome, welcome, welcome the class of 2027. I am Miss Robin Lewis. I am the math coach here at Sister Tyson. I will be the one to come and help and assist your sixth grade math teachers and science teachers. So I am so glad that you're gonna be here. I look forward to this transition from fifth grade to sixth grade. And if there's anything that you ever need, please don't hesitate to ask. Go find Ms. Lewis. Welcome again. Hey students, welcome to Tyson Middle High School. I am Ms. Clark Brown. I am going to be your English language arts and social studies teacher for the upcoming year. I'm so excited to be teaching you um, this year. I have a lot of great activities that I've been working on for you all. My charge for you is that you come with an open mind, a positive attitude, be prepared to, to do the work, and put your best foot forward. You enjoy the rest of your summer, and I'll be seeing you in September.